Follow me this way, planeteers. This is our sacred jungle, home of Rasha, the sacred tiger. So sacred. The female reed warbler incubates its four eggs. One of the brood is starting to hatch. However, it is not the young reed warbler. Some say that a quiet and irreversible revolution has already taken place in Britain. Policy analyst George Igler says he does not believe it will take 40 or 50 years before the native British are a minority. This is a nonsense. It's going to, it's going to be much sooner. I feel that we've been ethnically cleansed. It's so sad. French writer Renaud Camus calls the influx the Great Replacement. Two weeks ago, a female cuckoo, unseen by the reed warbler, dropped her egg into this nest. Now the young cuckoo hatches. Critics say the government is too frightened to address what Britain will look like in 50 years' time. It's going to look like Islamabad, basically. It's going to be a complete population change. The indigenous population is shrinking anyway. And I personally think it's going to lead to uh, civil unrest in the, you know, by 2025, 20, 2030, possibly civil war. We will increase our generations, he said in a speech in Istanbul, broadcast live on television. They talk about population planning, birth control. No Muslim family can have such an approach. Muslims have become an important constituency of the left. 90% voted for socialist president Hollande in the last election. By becoming parasitic, cuckoos were freed from nest building and parental duties, so they could lay many more eggs. Sociologists say that they're baffled at just how quickly the number of indigenous Brits has diminished over the past decade. They're very careful about what they say, but deep down there's a great disquiet in all of our people about the radical and manifest changes that are happening. They look around them and they think, what's it going to be like in 50 years? In 100 years? In 150 years? Are we to be reduced to a third of the population? To 20%? You don't have to be uh, Nostradamus to predict the future. 72% of the migrants that have arrived are adult men, almost exclusively limited to people between the ages of 20 and 35 years of age. German men in this demographic will be a minority in their own country from 2020 onward, if current trends continue. Just 24 hours old and still naked and blind, the cuckoo chick instinctively pushes out any other eggs in the nest. War is beginning, like a terrible storm. Warm declared against us, the white people. This is the real Third World War. Tisztelt ünneplők, Európa nem szabad, mert a szabadság az igazság kimondásával kezdődik. Why is it this insistence on immigration to non-Jewish countries from incompatible cultures, but when it comes to Israel, like why do you think there is this double standard? That Jews have? Europe is not going to be the monolithic uh, uh, societies that they once were in the last century. Jews are going to be at the center of that. It's a huge transformation for Europe to make. They are now going into a multicultural mode and Jews will be resented because of our leading role. But without that leading role and without that transformation, Europe will not survive. Those that have been tricked by the cuckoo will have no time for a second brood. It takes as much effort to raise one cuckoo as ten of their own chicks. Well, I, it's probably also tribal, you know. I mean, I, right? Why did the why did the rabbi in my high school say don't give blood to non-Jews? So it's probably you know there's probably a tribal aspect there also. Okay, but then what's wrong with um, white European Christians being tribal? Először is, nagyon fontosnak tartom, hogy az etnikai homogenitást meg kell őrizni. You know, it's the, the demography is the key of everything, as you know. Between the Jordan and the Mediterranean, this is the borders. Ten million people, about half million Jews and half million Arabs. And if we want to remain a democratic state, we have to have a majority of Jews in this place. Oh no, the volcanoes are erupting, the village is in danger. If your level of education is a tradesman, 
you're six times more likely to reject cultural diversity than if you had the opportunity of a university education. Why do you think that if is? You... Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! These are kids who are trying to learn about humanity! They're trying to learn about human rights and against racism and xenophobia and LGBTQ rights! It's coming from a professor. I'm a professor! How does this rule breaker get away with it? High finance and high industry discovered that anti-racism could furnish them with cheap labor force and with a way to produce endless supply of undifferentiated human matter. Everything and everybody can be exchanged for something or someone else. A szabadság mai ellenfeleit más fából faragták, mint a régi uralkodókat, vagy a szovjet rendszer gazdáit. Másfajta eszközökkel kényszerítenek behódolásra. If you listen to the cuckoo's begging call, it is absolutely remarkable. Most chicks when they're hungry just go cheap, cheap. But the cuckoo's got the most incredibly rapid call. It goes cheep, 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 very fast. The majority of the world has, like me, brown skin. Mm. Darker than me, lighter than me. We are plurality of people. If we want to say that Europe somehow has to remain white, has to remain non-Muslim, has to remain Christian, we're not going to live in, in, in a plural, multicultural society, are we going to make it like the Hunger Games? Although the cuckoo is by now much bigger than the reed warblers, they still treat it as if it's one of their own nestlings. Even after it has left the nest, they will still feed it. And the people that are in there, there are right wings, and they are so right wing that some of us, me included, think they should be forbidden as a party. Before the bonfire is lit, the straw man is ritually blamed for the city's woes. Also, ja, mittlerweile werden Leute wegen fortgesetzter Volksverhetzung auf Facebook zu zwei Jahren und drei Monaten Freiheitsstrafe ohne Bewährung verurteilt. Also jeder, der sich an die Tastatur setzt, sollte sich das vielleicht mal noch mal durch den Kopf gehen lassen. Captain Planet, that was a hospital for children. How could you let them all just die like that? Nothing the little ogre does alarms the foster parents, even when their own eggs are being forced out of the nest from right beneath them. The police were told to cover up any crime relating to the refugees. Do not tell the media, do not leave a paper thread. This former journalist for Swedish radio left last year and returned to her native Somalia. She told Swedish television that Mogadishu was safer than the immigrant suburbs in Stockholm. In 180 years time, what will happen to our culture then? When we have to play the minority game? that if anyone makes the slightest tangential criticism of us, we stick up our hand and say they're incorrect, they're incorrect, we want redress and this sort of thing. We have to play all those games in our own country that's ours now and in the past and into the future. The reason that I got interested in the cuckoo is that of course it's one of nature's most famous cheats. And in theory this cheating should provoke an evolutionary arms race between the hosts and the cuckoo. Dean diese Menschen Teil des deutschen Volkes werden, entsteht natürlich eine ganz andere Gemengelage. Das ist völlig klar. Und Entschuldigung nochmal, ich möchte dieses Land behalten, wie wir es ererbt von unseren Vätern haben. If, if Jews want Israel to remain Jewish, that's called cultural pride. If white Christians want white Christian countries to remain white Christian, I guess what, all white Christians are now evil racist bigots. It, it just, you know, it, it does make people a little bit suspicious, I, I'll tell you that. Tilos kimondani, hogy a betelepítés célja, hogy átrajzolják Európa vallási és kulturális mintázatát, átépítsék etnikai talapzatát, felszámolva ezzel az internacionális utolsó akadályát jelentő nemzetállamokat. The arms race is very much alive at this stage. The warblers can fight back and their defenses can work. 
there's a large number of people in the West who believe that the multiculturalists, the people who are forcing changes in Western culture, in Western religion, in Western civilization, are really the enemy. Akzeptieren Sie denn auch den Staat? Nee, das ist, das ist nicht mehr Staat, das ist politische Diktatur, ist das hier am Arsch. We are the victims, you are not them. We have to live like we used before. We have to live our life and took it for us. I don't want it anymore. I would like to make clear that a catastrophe is not necessarily something negative. A catastrophe is a sudden change in state of a system that has been considered before stable. You are in pain because you are forced to witness the slow death of your nation. You are the generation of struggle. So much is expected from you. Your burden is heavier than the burden of any generation before you or after you. Fortune favors the bold. Ancient Roman quote teaches us that if we want to be winners, we must think like winners. One major psychological stumbling block is that if we think like victims and behave like victims, people will see us as victims, weak and helpless. It's always better to be overconfident and arrogant rather than desperate and frustrated, because nobody likes those who have lost all hope, the defeated will have no followers. Instead of being worried, anxious or desperate about the coming turmoil, we must fearlessly welcome it, we must celebrate it, we must embrace it. Everything that happens today serves, in the end, only our cause. Only we have the historical moment. We are not victims. When the time comes, our enemies will be the victims. <laughs>